Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2022 VW Take One. This one is the SER line. There are four trims you could choose from. There is the S, SE, and this one is the SER line, and then the SELR line. And honestly, this thing looks amazing, but let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, there is a 2.0 turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It is connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces a 184 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque, and the fuel economy numbers on this engine, 21 in the city, 28 highway, and 24 combined. Here is the MSRP sticker of this 2022 Tiguan. If you guys are interested in the standard features this one has, just go ahead and pause the video. And the price on this one is almost 36,000. If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Pirate Silver and it does look very good on this Tiguan and this Tiguan looks very very good. It is nice and sporty and uh, especially in this R-Line, the SER line uh, trim and uh, I just love the black towel uh, rims and uh, trims around this uh, Tiguan and for the headlights, not everything right here in the headlight housing is LED so the High beam, low beam, daytime running lights are LED, but the turn signal indicators are halogen. And for a $36,000 SUV, I really, really wish that VW made the, uh, the turn signal indicators here in the front LED. The grille looks good. There is some chrome right here in the bottom and some up top and a uh, little bit of gloss black. So very good uh, color combination. And there is the R-Line or the R badge all the way to the left and VW logo is nice and big and it is actually the sensor for the braking assist or the emergency braking and in the bottom there is a ton of gloss black and honestly uh, with the gloss black it does look very nice and uh, definitely adds a premium look to this uh, Tiguan and there is an opening in the middle down here so there is like basically a bottom grill for the inner cooler and there is some parking sensors in the bottom and I really like that all the way in the bottom this is finished in gloss black it definitely makes this SUV nice and sporty but let's go ahead and move to the side and I'll show you the side view of this thick one here is a side view of this thick one and honestly the side view looks very good and it is a nice small sporty SUV and as you guys see there is a very very sharp aggressive line in the middle where the door handles are and uh, overall I think the side view looks amazing for the rims, they are blacked out, and the size of those rims, they are 235, 55, 19. So the size is good, and there is a good amount of rubber, and uh, overall, seriously, the design looks very, very nice. And since this is the R-Line, it does actually have a good amount of gloss black, so there is some gloss black trims in the bottom. The mirror is finished in gloss black, and the roof rails are finished in gloss black. The window trims are finished in flat black, and I really like the fact that they're finished in flat black. This is the R-Line, so this is the sportier version of the Tiguan. And on the door and fender, there is this gloss black slash brushed aluminum uh, trim, and it does say R. That means this is the R-Line version of the Tiguan. For the mirror, it is finished in gloss black, as I said. It does have a blind spot monitoring system, and it does have a turn signal indicator. And for the roof, uh, there is uh, some roof rails. They're finished in gloss black. And this thick one does have a panoramic sunroof. Honestly, it looks very, very good. And uh, overall, the style looks amazing. But let's go ahead and move to the back. And I'll show you the back view of this thick one. Here is the back of the thick one. And honestly, it does look very good, just like the front. And coming to the taillights, everything right here in the taillight housing is LED, which I love. And uh, I think VW did a great job with the tail light design. I think it does look good. SE badge on the left, and on the right is the 4 motion badge. This means this is the all wheel drive version of the Tiguan. VW logo looks good. Tiguan is written right underneath it, and I really like the font. And uh, that's where the wiper is. I really wish it was hidden right underneath the spoiler. I think it would have gave the back of this Tiguan a cleaner look third brake light is located up there it is LED and uh, in the bottom there is a long reflector which I think looks actually good I don't think I've seen that anywhere but it definitely adds a nicer look to this uh, Tiguan and in the bottom there is some parking sensors and I really like the fact that this is finished in gloss black but what I don't like is that VW tried to make some fake exhaust tips this is blocked so you can put your hand in. The exhaust is actually hidden right underneath this SUV. Here is a key. 
looks right. Nothing too special or fancy about this key. It is finished all in plastic and flat black. And uh, it does have four binds on it, lock, unlock, remote start, and a tailgate release. And in the back, it does have the VW logo and it does have a physical key inside of it. Let's go ahead and open the tailgate. There are three ways you could open the tailgate. And uh, basically there is one on the key. There is a button on the tailgate itself and there is one inside. And up here, there is a button to close the tailgate, a light, it is LED. And in the trunk, there is a good amount of space. So yes, it does look like a small SUV from the outside, but from the inside, there's a very good amount of space. And uh, there is an LED light all the way to the left, but there is no one on the right. I really wish there was one. Uh, there are some handles to drop the seats down, one for the right and one for the left side. And there is a 12 volt inside, some tie downs, a good amount of storage place right here on the left and another one on the right. And there is some hooks right here and some tie downs around the trunk of this Tiguan. But the back of this uh, Tiguan is nice and spacious and the opening is nice and big. But let's go ahead and move inside this Tiguan. I'll show you how it looks like on the inside. Here is the door handle of this Tiguan and it is finished in the same color as the SUV. There is a button right here. This button will take care of locking and unlocking the SUV. Here is a front door panel and the front door panel looks very, very good. I really like what VW did with the door panel. I love this uh, trim. I think it does look good. There's some brushed aluminum uh, right on top of this uh, trim. This top portion right here is nice and soft. It is that synthetic rubber material. The door handle feels nice and solid and door locks are located right here with a tweeter. And this whole thing just honestly looks amazing. It is wrapped in leather and the white stitching is nice and big and I think it does look very, very good. The armrest is nice and soft and there is more white uh, stitching and window switches, mirror controls, everything looks very high quality and all windows are automatic up and down. And in the bottom, this is the button for the tailgate and this whole thing right here is plastic but the design looks good and there is a reflector in the bottom and there's a good amount of storage in this front door and this actually is carpet which is nice i actually never seen anything like that before so good job vw and there is a speaker in the bottom and it does have a really nice design to it and for the seats the seats are nice and comfortable this one does have the black i think titan titan black and uh, i think you could choose actually three different colors and uh, the black is one of them right here on the side there is the seat controls with the lumbar support and as you guys see on the seats there is uh, some white stitching i think it does look good and uh, let's go ahead and move inside this take one and i'll show you how it looks like from the inside Alright, so here is the interior of this 2022 VW Tiguan. It does look very, very nice from the inside and uh, I really like the interior and the uh, steering wheel looks seriously amazing. It is nice and thick and very, very aggressive. It does have a flat bottom design and overall, I'm seriously amazed with the design of this uh, steering wheel. And uh, yeah, overall it is nice and thick. Leather feels amazing. 10 and, uh, 10 and 2 grips are nice and big. And yeah, overall, seriously, such a beautiful uh, steering wheel. There is some brushed aluminum around the binds and right here in the bottom. And the R badge is in the bottom and uh, VW is in the center. And this feels actually really, really nice. It does have a really nice texture to it. And uh, it is almost soft. And uh, all the way to the left is the cruise controls and uh, the safety features this uh, Tiguan has, volume controls. And on the right is the voice command and uh, buttons to control that center screen and the seek buttons. Well, let's go ahead and control this uh, screen. I'll go up and down. It is nice and responsive. And by the way, it is an eight inch screen. And uh, this screen is an eight inch as well. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, gauges look good. And uh, you could do a lot of things with this. You could display the Apple CarPlay, your phone, and uh, compass speed and good amount of things and on the left there is the high beam with the turn signal controls 
and on the right is the wiper controls for the front and back and the AC vents look seriously very very nice brushed aluminum this gray color does look seriously amazing and in the bottom that's where the HUD light controls are and there is this storage place right here on the left it is nice and big so I'm glad that VW is actually still putting a storage place uh, down here a lot of companies are going away uh, from this storage place and up here there is another storage place so they did take advantage and they did put a storage place right there a lot of cars they just have basically no storage place up there AC vents look amazing and as I said I really like this gray dark gray um, color and uh, here is the emergency light button and here is a screen it is an 8 inch screen it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and uh, overall very nice and responsive here is the menu button and VW system is nice and responsive and uh, you could control the climates from here so you could change the mode you could raise up the temperature uh, sync and uh, it does have dual climate control here is the fan speed and in the bottom that's where the hard buttons so if you don't want to use the uh, screen for the climate controls you could uh, use those hard buttons there is heated seats three stages and uh, you could raise the temperature and lower it just by sliding your finger which is very very nice and same thing for the fan and uh, as I said it does have dual climate control there is an automatic function and here is the sync uh, button and down here there is a storage place with wireless phone charger two USB-C's and a 12 volt and here is the transmission that will control the 8 speed automatic transmission in this uh, Tiguan it does look good it is finished in black brushed aluminum and uh, some flat black and uh, this is wrapped in leather I really like the uh, double stitching double white stitching right here on the shifter and here is the backup camera it does look good nothing too crazy resolution is right I think it could be a little bit better but it's not too bad you could change uh, the views if you want to there is this uh, view basically you could uh, do Pearl Park and uh, there is uh, a down view you could hook up a trailer and uh, this is the wide view and this is the normal view and I would uh, keep it on this one anyways here is the engine start stop it is located in a very good uh, place and this is finished in gray as you guys see and here is the e-brake and uh, engine shut off and uh, the parking sensor button there's a good amount of buttons empty buttons right here around the shifter and here is the drive mode selector there is eco normal sport and custom and when you change the mode it will display it on the top left of this uh, screen and there is two cup holders right here I really like the design of the cup holders a little bit of storage place next to it and the armrest is nice and soft I love the white stitching this armrest does not extend to the front I really wish it did and uh, inside there is barely any space very very small but it is nice and deep and I really like this trim it is basically the same trim as on the door and here is the rear view mirror it is part of an option I think it's a $325 option if I'm not mistaken and there is the garage control buttons right underneath this mirror and of course it does have some LED lights which is nice and uh, here is the panoramic sunroof uh, control this button will basically keep the lights off when the doors are open and there is a button for the rear lights and here is the panoramic sunroof control and here is the shade control so basically you could close and open the shade with those uh, two binds let's go ahead and open the panoramic sunroof it does open nice and quick let's see how far it goes so I did click the button one more time for it to go all the way back and uh, definitely does bring in a lot of light inside of this uh, Tiguan and here is the glove box it is massive there is a ton of uh, space inside of this glove box and uh, I forgot to mention but uh, there are a few buttons right here SOS and uh, I think this is for their customer support or something like this and here is the visor it is finished in plastic it does feel nice and solid there is 
a mirror inside and uh, there is an LED light. It is nice and bright. Here is a backdoor panel and it is the same design as the front, but VW did cheap out. So this top portion right here is finished in plastic, which I think is fine. It's not a big deal. The door handle feels nice and solid. I really love what they did with this. They have the same design uh, here in the back, just like the front. The armrest is nice and soft and this whole thing is uh, padded, which is nice. Here is the window switch, a tweeter, and uh, this is plastic, which is fine. And there is a reflector in the bottom. The speaker looks good. And a good amount of storage place in the back door. And for the back seats, they're nice and spacious. There's a good amount of legroom. I'm actually very impressed with the legroom in this Tiguan. Uh, this is a small SUV, but it does have a ton of legroom. And the headroom is actually very good too. There is an armrest right here in the back with two cup holders and this armrest is wrapped in leather. It is very, very soft, which is nice. And the seats look honestly amazing. I love the design and I love the stitching. And you could, of course, fold those uh, seats down. And back here, there is uh, two AC vents, a small cubby and a 112 volt, one USB-C. And that's how the front of this Tiguan looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 VW Tiguan. I would like to thank Bruce and Hart VW here in Meriden, Connecticut for providing me this VW. If you guys are interested and if you guys are around, make sure to come check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information, a link at the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.